गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर फोर्टीन मैंसुरेशन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर पेरीमीटर ऑफ प्लेन फिगर्स एंड इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वील कवर एरिया ऑफ प्लेन फिगर्स एंड विद विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ वर्कशीट वील बी रिवाइजिंग दिस चैप्टर सो वट एवर क्वेश्चन आई विल डू टुडे इन द वीडियो आर फ्रॉम दैट सेम वर्कशीट okay so you have to go through the worksheet properly read the questions properly and then watch the video so what is perimeter of a plane figure perimeter of a plane figure is the length of its boundary this means if in any plane figure means a two dimension figure plane figure means a two dimension figure i take the length of its boundary so what will be the boundary i take from here i take this part to this part then from here to here and then from here to here if i take this these three parts then i am taking the complete length of the boundary similarly if it is a four sided figure then if i take all four sides then i will cover the complete length of the boundary so if i have to find out perimeter of any plane figure i have to just add all the sides so in general what we can say perimeter of any figure is sum of all sides sum of all sides and when we do so what we get we get the length of the boundary now a this in this triangle this side is a b and c so what we can say that what will be the perimeter of this triangle it will be a plus b plus c similarly if i take this figure which has four side it's a quadrilateral so in this quadrilateral what will be the perimeter it will be the sum of all the sides so a plus b plus c plus d this will be the perimeter of the figure and uh, what we have studied in this chapter is perimeter of a uh, square and a rectangle so to find out perimeter of a square or a rectangle what we can do in a square all sides are equal so now if i draw a square with all the sides of the taking as a so what will be the uh, perimeter of this square it will be sum of all sides so if i want to write the perimeter of this square what i can write that perimeter is equal to a plus a plus a plus a and 4 times a means 4 it is coming 4 times so i can write 4a or in general i can replace it as 4 into side side can be a also in this case i have taken a it is not necessary that you have to take a you can in general write the name you can say side so what will be the perimeter of a square 4 into side or if you have taken it as a you can say 4a as well now if you take a rectangle in rectangle these two sides are equal which is length and these two sides are equal that is the breadth and in this case if i have to find out the perimeter of this plane figure then what will i write i will write l plus l l plus l and b plus b that will be the perimeter and i have taken 2 times l so it's 2l plus i have taken 2 times b so it's 2b isn't it now instead of writing it 2l and 2b what i can take i can take 2 as common and then i can write l plus b in brackets so this is the formula twice l plus b so it's two times l plus b okay now we'll come to the worksheet i am writing the questions on the board because you don't have the questions right now written with you so i will first write the question that i am discussing with you and then i will do the question okay so i am first reading the question a wire a thin wire is of length 20 cm is bent to form a rectangle so we have a wire that will bent in the shape of a rectangle okay and its complete length is 20 cm 
Now this means if I have a straight wire like this which is 20 centimeter and I bend this wire like this to form a rectangle. So this complete length of the wire will be obviously equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. Yes, because this is the wire that we have bent like this to form a rectangle. So this complete length is also 20 centimeter which means the perimeter of this rectangle is 20 centimeter. Now what they are saying? If the width of the rectangle is 4 centimeter, so out of the two things, uh, length and width, we have the width. Width of the rectangle is 4 centimeter. This means this is this part is 4 centimeter. And what you have to find out? You have to find out its length. So you have to find out its length. So with the help of the formula, we will find out the length of the rectangle. But first we will mention that since the wire is bent into the shape of a rectangle, so the length of the wire is equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. Length of the wire is equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. So what is the perimeter then? So what we can write perimeter is equal to 20 centimeter and what else we have? We have width. Width is equal to 4 centimeter. Now we have to find out the length of the wire. So we will Put these two values in the formula and then we will find out the length of the wire. Now see how we will do it. So perimeter is equal to twice L plus B. Now perimeter is what? Is 20 L plus width is 4. Okay and all the values are in centimeter. Now, 20 is equal to twice L plus B. We have studied linear equation as well. So, what we do in linear equation? Is this a form of a linear equation? Where L is the unknown and rest of the values are known. So, to find out this unknown, what we do? We have to open this bracket. Now, to open this bracket, we have a number out here. So, we have to remove this number so that we open the bracket and we solve it further. So, for this what we can do that any number which is outside the bracket means it is always in multiplication. So, any number which is outside the bracket we can anytime bring that number this side. Okay, it's very important that it should be outside the bracket. So, what we can write? I can write 20 upon 2 equal to L plus 4. Now, can we cancel this? It's 1 and it's 10. So, I can say that 10 is equal to L plus 4. Isn't it? So, if 10 is equal to L plus 4, so can we find out the value of L? So, if this is unknown now, then I, this means I have to remove this 4 now. So, remove this 4 now. So, when I remove this 4, this is plus 4 which will come this side and it will become minus 4. Now, when it will become minus 4, we can solve it. So, it will become 6 equal to L. Now, what we can say? That length is equal to 6 centimeter. So, this length of this rectangle which we form with the help of the wire is equal to 6 centimeter. And for this what we have done? We have substitute, substituted the value in the formula and this is 20, this is 4. Now, this is a linear equation where L is unknown. So, to find out this linear equation, we will first remove this number which is outside the bracket. So, we will bring it here. Since these two numbers are divisible, we will divide them. Now, we have a simpler linear equation which says 10 is equal to L plus 4. So, if I want the value of this L, then I have to remove this 4 from here. So, once I remove this 4 from here, it will come this side. So, this positive 4 will become negative 4. So, now 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. So, the value of L is 6 which means length is 6 centimeter. Now, let us take one more question. Okay. 
सो आई हैव टेकन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन बट आई हैव नॉट रिटन द क्वेश्चन आई एम रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली एंड देन आई हैव रिटन वॉट इज द गिवन वॉट एवर इज द गिवन इन वॉट एवर इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन से इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ पेंटेगन इज फोर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज वट आई हैव रिटन पेरीमीटर ऑफ पेंटेगन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर नाउ वट आफ्टर दैट दे सेंग इफ ऑल साइड्स ऑफ द पेंटेगन आर इक्वल find the length of a length of a side means we have to find out length of one side and what we know we know that all the sides of the pentagon are equal okay so this is same as a square in a square all the sides are equal so to if the perimeter is given if the perimeter is given in a square we know that all the sides are equal and what is perimeter of a square 4 into side because it has four sides so we say 4 into side and if if the perimeter is given and we have to find out the side what we do we do perimeter upon 4 because we know all the sides are equal so we divide it by 4 and we get the value of the side similarly if we take a four sided figure or we take a three sided figure let's take a three sided figure if it if i take a three sided figure where all the sides are equal so to find out the side what i can do is simply perimeter upon 3 because all the sides are equal this is a very important condition here that all the sides are equal so in a triangle what will i do i will do perimeter upon 3 since all sides are equal so i will divide my perimeter into three equal parts all the sides are equal so i will divide my perimeter into four equal parts similarly when we say a pentagon a pentagon has four sides sorry five sides so what we'll do whatever is the perimeter we'll divide it by 5 so we'll first write the sides the number of sides in the pentagon or whether it is any other figure since uh, suppose it's a hexagon which has six sides so we'll divide the perimeter by 6 if it is a heptagon we'll divide it by 7 so number of sides number of sides in a pentagon is 5 so what we'll do to find out the side side of a pentagon of the pentagon what we can simply do whatever is the perimeter divide it by 5 because it has five equal sides so we'll divide it by 5 if it's a hexagon we'll divide it by 6 okay but what is important that the figure should be regular you can get two words either you will get equal sides this word or you will get regular regular also means all sides are equal now 45 upon 5 let's cancel it 9 cm now this means is the side of the pentagon is 9 cm okay okay now come to question number 9 This is the figure uh, required for question number nine. I am reading the question. The floor plan of a part of a school is shown below. This is the floor floor plan that is given. You have to find where two things are given. One is a staff room and the other one is library. You have to find out perimeter of the floor of the library. So if you see what are the measurement in the library now this means what this question is saying that you don't have to find out the perimeter of this entire figure you have to only find out perimeter of the library this means you have to exclude this part and you have to only consider this rectangle so what we'll say check now we'll check the length and the breadth of this square this rectangular library so the length is 20 so this is also 20 Width is eleven, so this is also eleven. So this is basically a rectangle. So to find out the um, perimeter of this library, what we can use, we can use the formula of the rectangle. So it's a very good question for your application based skill. You get questions based on computation and application based skill. So this is what this is an application based question where you have to first find out. that what is this shape of the floor of the library it's a shape of a rectangle once you get this then what you do you find out you find out the 
perimeter of the library. Okay, so we have the length of the library. So length of the floor we can say is 20 meter and breadth of the floor is 11 meter so perimeter of the floor will be 11. it's a rectangle as we have already discussed so it's twice L plus B. It is equal to 2, 20 plus 11 meter. It's 2 into 31 meter and that will be equal to 62 meter. So the perimeter of the floor of the library is 62 meter. Now this is it for today. Along with this video, we have uh, I will be sending a worksheet. You have to finish the worksheet today and till tomorrow as we give you time. Accordingly, you have to submit the work to your respective subject teachers. Thank you so much.